It is Sunday, April 15th. Scott Sprites are here at DocSports.com. A lot to talk about NBA, NHL, Major League Baseball. Free play that I'm going to give you in just a little bit also. Uh, but I wanted to tell you real quickly a little bit about what's going on with radio. I did leave my daily Las Vegas radio show a couple of weeks ago that I've been doing uh, for quite a while now. Daily radio in some fashion or another in Vegas from a point spread perspective for about 25 years. We've done a lot of national radio with ESPN, still doing those shows in the fall, still doing Mad Dog Radio on Wednesday nights with Patrick Maher, um, among many others. Reason I'm bringing this up right now is because those of you have asked what's next on the agenda when it comes to radio. Uh, we're going to start, and I'm talking about the DocSports.com guys and myself, we're going to start a football radio show in August. And it's going to be a weekly show, and it's going to be a blast. We're going to talk all point spreads. We'll get guests that I've lined up over the course of the years, both from a betting perspective and those that are just giving us the take on teams, beat writers, things of that nature. Going to be a blast. We'll have more on that as we get closer to the month of August. Free play, as I mentioned in just a bit. Let's talk about the NBA. I had one play yesterday in the NBA, four unit on the Washington Wizards at DotSports.com plus eight. Had to settle for the push. They had that lead at one point of the fourth quarter. They got the flagrant. They were up three at the time. And then you saw what happened. They gave a little bit of an opening there. And Toronto makes the free throws. And they made the ensuing field goal on that possession. And were able to take the lead and go on to win the game. We ended up with the push on that particular contest. Betting yesterday, I was looking at William Hill numbers. You'll see that Public and Sharps basically agreed on the Wizards plus the points, on the Sixers minus the points. They go 1-0-1 and -1 there. And then they were a little bit split between the Sharps and the Public on the other two games. Golden State, which crushed San Antonio. And, of course, the late game, the Public and the Sharps, a little bit different between New Orleans and Portland. And we saw, man, New Orleans doing a great job on the defensive end most of the night. Bad night of the backcourt. At least the first half was pretty bad for the backcourt of C.J. McCollum, Damian Lillard. One for 15. They dug themselves too big of a hole. Almost came back. Couldn't quite do it. Great block at the end by Drew Holiday. And New Orleans goes on to get the win. Sunday's games, we've been talking about them for three days on videos. You know who I like in the couple of games we've talked about. I will tell you this about the betting overnight going into Sunday at William Hill. And, of course, this may change on Sunday morning when folks start to wake up and plunk their money down. But looking at their numbers overnight, the public and the Sharps agree on all four favorites. They're on the chalk. Boston. Uh, Cleveland, Oklahoma City, Houston, that's where the money is right now. We have one four-unit play going on Sunday's card, available right now at DocSports.com, my four-unit NBA executive plays, 63% going back to mid-December. Real quick note on baseball, I did want to mention that I did lose my top play last night. You know, sometimes you win games you're supposed to lose, sometimes you lose games you're supposed to win, and then sometimes you're just absolutely right or you're wrong. And I was wrong yesterday on the play I had. We lost the game. We went against a line move because we thought the line move was too much. We ended up losing the game. But we are 4-1 and one with our four-unit plays in baseball uh, this past week, producing $1,160 worth a profit. I've got another four-unit play going on Sunday's card at DocSports.com. We look to extend those plays, the four-unit plays, to five and one over the past week. Let's get to our free play. And it's not the Golden Knights, it's not the Kings, but boy, does that promise to be a rough, crazy battle. Game three in LA on Sunday night. I'm looking at the battle between the Columbus Blue Jackets, the Washington Capitals. Rare situation in which I'm going to lay a decent sized money line on the Caps minus a buck 55. Listen, Barry Trotz, man, he just wants to get to the second round of the postseason for once in four years with the Capitals. And Alex Ovechkin. He wants to get to an Eastern Conference Finals for the first time so since he's been with the Caps. So there's a lot on the line for both of these two teams, obviously. But Columbus came back from a 2-0 deficit in Game 1 to get the overtime win. Goalies look to be the same tonight. It looks like Trotz said he's going to go with Philip Grubauer. And I'll tell you what, or Grubauer, I'm sorry. But I'll tell you what about Philip Grubauer. I think he's making the right decision because... He gives them the best chance between the pipes to stop the opposing shots and get the victory. Put his team in a situation to get the win. I know Sergei Bobrovsky uh, for the Columbus Blue Jackets is on fire if you look at his record. 11-1-1 his last 13 starts. But I got to tell you, man, check it out, guys. Four of his last five starts have not been that pretty. And in his last three starts, he's given up 12 goals on 100 shots on goal. Heck, that's easy math. That's an 880 save percentage. That's not good. I think the Caps are going to get to him on Sunday and even up the series at one game apiece. Free play on the Washington Capitals. Don't forget, NBA, Major League Baseball, executive plays in both sports at DocSports.com. 
only at DocSports.com on Sunday. If you like what you see, click the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We're going to be talking to you all summer long with our YouTube videos. So again, hit the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. And you know what to do. Put them in the win column on Sunday. We'll be right back here.